Welcome back everybody uh, to the Mike Will Experiment. I was gonna do a thing where I like did a voiceover, but I couldn't really get it to work very well earlier um, with another video that I ended up scrapping just because the quality was not good. Um, I am here though to review um, Spider-Man for the PS4 um, remote play. Um, so this is a new series where I review and show off some remote play gameplay. Um, I did play through this last night enough to know what's going on. So um, I will not pull any punches. It is not very good, um, but I'll tell you why. Um, and it works. You know, don't get me wrong. There's my, I was streaming Shenmue earlier, but you know, this game was made by Sony and it's built around remote play. So, you know, it does work, but um, the problem <laughs> is that Spider-Man is a combat heavy game. Um, it is absolutely intense. Um, one of my friends called it like a Street Fighter game. It, it kind of is. Um, check out, this is the 1000 PS. Vita doesn't have a beautiful screen, that OLED display just really pops off there. We really love the OLED display. That's why I got the, didn't get the slim. These are also cheaper. I mean, of course, that's the primary motivation, but um, secondarily, the screen on these OLEDs looks great. Apologize for a little bit of glare. I did the best I could here. I have a little bit of light in my room, so that I'm filming in here. Um, again, I'll figure out better setups for this stuff in the future, but you know. Uh, my 1%. <laughs> this game is huge. Um, that was me testing it yesterday. Um, and you can see everything's really snappy. The menus are really snappy. Um, it looks pretty good at the 5868p or whatever it is. The, I believe that's the, the top resolution that you can run. Um, the problem comes into there's, there, there's a button issue on this system. And the issue is, is that there are two trigger buttons, L and R, then on the back there is this awful touchpad, and I hate it. I don't like it. It's not good. Um, and what is what the touchpad is basically just to demonstrate. I guess it's good we have a little light. I guess R1 or R2, R3, L2, L3. A lot of the moves in Spider-Man means you have to be holding it from the other side and somehow manage. To, I think I'm doing something on the screen probably because I'm actually able to see what I'm doing. When you're trying to do this from the other side, it is impossible. Um, so most of, oh, fingerprints are, most of my review for this game and my low score comes from that fact. You just really can't play the game as it's intended to be played. Um, now what you can do, oh, I died, <laughs> whoops. And what I am doing, by the way, because I still am gonna play this in bed and you can't stop me, um, is you turn down the difficulty. Um, as you can see here, I can still jump, you know, I can still pull moves off. You know, I'm doing some web sling in here. Woof, <laughs> woof, 